everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a favorites video. I see these videos floating around YouTube all the time and they are personally some of my favorite videos to watch just because I really love seeing what other people are using, what their favorite products of the month are. So I figured I would do another one in my bedroom and just talk about my favorite products, whether it be hair, makeup, beauty, home decor, anything. Anything and everything is the limit. So if you're interested in watching this video, stay tuned. Okay, first up, let's start with beauty products. To be honest, this is probably going to be the main highlight of my favorites video since I am a beauty hair channel. So let's get going with hair care. First up on my list are my two favorite products from Kevin Murphy. This one is a newer product. It's called Bedroom Hair by Kevin Murphy and it is a flexible texturizing hairspray. In a lot of my videos, you guys have seen me use Session Spray and Do Over. Session Spray is a hairspray, Do Over is a texture spray, and this is like the ultimate two-in-one, so it takes a little bit of both and puts them into one can so that you only need to use this one product. And it is incredible, and it literally smells like you're walking into a Bath & Body Works store. It's like my favorite smell ever. And they actually have a bedroom hair candle, which I'm for sure gonna order because I love this stuff. Next up is Fresh Hair. This is Kevin Murphy's Dry Shampoo, and it is honestly the best dry shampoo I have ever used. Fresh Hair is the right name for this product because I literally do feel so fresh and clean after I use this. And I have used other dry shampoos where you put it on and you just feel kind of like weighed down and your hair feels heavier and it just kind of feels gunky if that makes sense. But this literally makes my hair feel weightless and clean. And I went nine days last week with using this every single day once it was greasy. So that was a miracle worker for me. Okay, and one more Kevin Murphy product. It is called Hair Resort. This is a beach texturizing cream. I put this in my hair when I wanna have like those beachy textured waves and I don't wanna curl my hair. So today I did curl my hair with a curling iron, but this is what I use when I want more beachy, kind of like wavy hair. I will insert a picture of what I mean and what I looked like when I used this. But yeah, this is just a really good product if you don't wanna use heat on your hair, but you still wanna give it a style that's not straight. So yeah, I really recommend this product. And one last hair product, Elle Bangs here on YouTube sent me the Monate line and she is a seller of Monate and asked me to try out these products, told me I would love them. I have heard a lot about this company floating around on the internet and no, I do not sell it, but I told her I would give it a chance because I have heard great things about it. Um, so it's the Restore Leave-In Conditioner. She did send me a few other things and I'm in the process of testing them out, but this is the one that I've been loving the most just because it's a leave-in. So when I get out of the shower after I've washed my hair and it's damp and towel dried, I will put this through my ends and I feel like my extensions feel a lot like smoother and silkier by using this. So that's really good to know and this is a great company from what I hear. So I will definitely recommend this because I really love it. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in any of these hair care products I talked about, I will link them in the description box below. But those have been my favorite hair care products in the month of August, just because it's getting a little cooler outside. My hair was beat up from the summertime and swimming in the sun. So I feel like all of these products have kind of helped give my hair a life as we go into fall. And I know it's like mid-September almost. What day is it? It is September 7th. So I'm filming this like a week late, but oh well. <laughs> All right, next up, let's talk makeup. So I get questions all the time whenever I post like a picture or a video, what makeup do I use? So I have been using the mascara makeup and when I first heard about this, I was kind of nervous because it seemed a little weird and just not traditional what I was used to, but I really like that it's compact and small. I have been traveling a lot this summer and this was so easy just to like throw in my bag and all my face products are right in here. So it's just really convenient for like photo shoots and traveling, which I've been doing this summer. So that's been really nice and I'm not exactly sure what shades I am. I will try to find out and let you guys know, but I have the contour, the highlight, the blush and the illuminator. And what I like about this the most, and the reason that it sold me, is because I live in Utah and it's very dry here. And on top of that, I have very dry skin naturally. And so I always have a problem with my face makeup flaking off, looking cakey, looking dry, not staying. And this stuff makes me look glowy, shiny, dewy, healthy. It makes my skin not look dry at all. And I love, love, love that. So I feel like this just makes me look very pretty and I love that. Hand in hand with it goes the Stay Out There Gorgeous. Such a cute name. This is the Mascara Makeup Setting Spray. I just spritz this all over my face before I do my makeup and then once again after. And I literally feel like it does stay all day. Even when I have 
12 hour work days at the salon, I will come home and my face still looks dewy and shiny, not sweaty, but like gorgeous in a good way. So I feel like this really does work. And then the other three products are lips. And I always get asked what I use on my lips because I really don't venture out. I tend to just do the same thing, but I always have like a pretty pink color. And it's the NYX um, line. And I have the butter lipstick. And this is in color Sandy Kiss. And it's just like a really pretty pinky color. It's really cute. It's like a peachy shade. And I always layer this with the butter gloss and this is in color meringue and it's a really nice pink toned lip gloss. And then sometimes I will use the soft matte lip cream and this is in color Istanbul. I totally botched that. <laughs> and this one's a matte co uh, color so it stays really well on the lips. And I always mix it up between these three pink shades, but I am a pink girl. I love it. So that's what I always wear on my lips. And that has been my favorite in the month of August because I wanted to embrace brighter lips until we went into fall. And now that it's fall, I'll probably start doing darker ones. Okay, and then I wanted to include two fragrance items because I am so into fragrance. I have like a collection of perfumes and lotions in my bathroom. And the lotion I've been using a lot lately is the Stress Fix Body Lotion by Aveda. I love this stuff. It smells so, so good. And I always just like lather myself in it after bath and shower time because it makes me feel so calm and it just smells amazing. So that is my favorite body lotion right now. And my favorite perfume for the month of August was Fancy Love by Jessica Simpson. I love this perfume. It takes me back to high school. I was shopping in Park City, which is a town here in Utah, um, a couple weeks ago, and I found this, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need this scent. It reminds me of being in high school. So whenever I wear this, it takes me back to then, and this was definitely my fragrance all throughout August. I love it so much. It's like almost gone, actually, so I'll definitely be repurchasing that. And on the topic of bath and skincare, let's talk about these amazing bath bombs. Oh my gosh, this is a company called Cosette, and it says bath, body, mind, and soul. And in this little pack, it has a vanilla sugar scrub, which I always use sugar scrubs after I shave because I have really sensitive skin. So I just exfoliate after I shave to get all the dead skin off so I'm not itchy. So I love that stuff. And then it comes with bath bombs in here as well. This is actually my second pack from them and I wanted to show you guys this one because it's brand new, but I love bath bombs. They're my favorite thing ever. So this is like the greatest thing after a long day at the salon or at work, wherever you work, and you can just relax in a bath with a bath bomb. It makes it smell good, it makes it look pretty. So that's literally my favorite thing. And this is an August favorite because I did it a lot in August, but this is like an all year round favorite too because I always use bath bombs. Okay, let's go into clothing. So these were my favorite shoes in the month of August. I got them towards the end of July. So in August, I wore them all the time. And they are from Steve Madden. So I got them at Nordstrom, I believe. And, or wait, maybe I got them at DSW. I will find out and I will link them below. But they are the cutest little like espadrille wedges and I got them in black and tan because they are both neutral colors and match everything. And I seriously love them. They just strap around the ankle right here. And what I love most is I have worn these on long salon days and they make my feet feel so comfortable. Towards the end they hurt a little bit but I can go like seven hours without really noticing I'm wearing heels. So I love that. And I am 5'2", and so I love the height that these give me. It's amazing. But I just love that I got two different colors because I can wear them with darker outfits, lighter outfits, everything. So these are like the best shoes ever. And for the month of August, I wore bandanas all the time. I actually did a blog post about bandanas a couple of months ago as I was getting into them. I got both of these at American Eagle. This is a longer one. This is a shorter one. Um, I will link my blog post down below of like a few different ways I like to wear bandanas but it usually is around my waist as a belt or in my hair or around my neck. And I just loved accessorizing with these because sometimes I get really bored just wearing the same old necklace and you know, whatever. So this adds a little dressiness to your wardrobe. And I also loved doing them in my hair in the month of August because I was swimming, traveling, wearing my hair up because it was so hot outside and my hair is so heavy. So I loved wearing my hair up in messy buns with the bandanas because it just kind of made my hair look a little more dressed up as well as like put together when it's up in a messy bun. So I really loved these. Okay, and technically it's not even fall yet, but it's September to me, so it is. But I started buying these in August because I'm that crazy girl. The minute they went on at Bath & Body Works, I was like, oh my gosh, I need all the fall scents. So my favorite of the month is Marshmallow Fireside. I literally started burning this in August. It is my favorite scent ever. This is like my favorite warm fall scent. I would burn these scents all year round. I just love them so much. So that candle was definitely a favorite to kickstart fall for me at the end of August. And then I also got a bunch of wallflowers in the fall scents as well. Um, this one's Sweater Weather and this one's Almond. 
So in the month of August is when I start prepping for September. So I buy all of these things and I just stock my house up with the warm, goody flavors. I just love them so much. It just makes me feel so cozy. So these were for sure some of my favorites in August. And now that it's September, I am sure I'm going to be buying so much more of them. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I love these scents. Okay, and then my last favorite of the month is actually my phone case. I got these rifle paper phone cases in August, and I got one for my salon phone and one for my personal phone, and they are the cutest things ever. If you know me, you know that I am a sucker for floral, and these are like the cutest floral cases. I got a clear one, and then I also got a turquoise one, and I love these so much, so I just wanted to show you guys them because I think they're the cutest things ever, and I love accessorizing my phone with cases like this, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. All right, you guys, those were all my favorites for the month of August. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know if you like videos like this. Let me know in the comments below what you thought, what type of videos you would like to see in the future. I have a few more hair videos planned coming up very soon as well, and I have two more beauty school series until that series is over, so keep your eye out for those. I am so excited for the fun videos I have coming up. I have some cool ideas, but I do want your feedback, so let me know in the comments below what you would like to see. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Everything I talked about today, plus what I'm wearing, will be linked in the description box below, along with my social medias, my website, my email, if you would like to ask me questions or get a hold of me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.